and welcome to another Evil Clown Slayer review. Today we're going to look at a Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 Ultramarine. Um, this is my first Joy Toy. I've never actually ha handled one before, so I'm kind of excited to get this one busted open and take a look at it. Um, I've been doing a lot of the uh, McFarlane figures, all the um, Warhammer McFarlane, uh, quite a bit cheaper. You get one of those for about 20 bucks. This one... I got this one on Amazon for about 50 bucks currently, but it's a kind of an older one, so I think they jacked the price up a little bit. Um, I believe you can get it on, um, I think I saw the same exact one on um, Big Bad Toy Store and uh, Entertainment Earth. Um, both of them charge a little bit more for shipping, so I was like, yeah, this, and I think this one's going to be a quicker turnaround, so I was going to get this sooner. So I paid a couple extra dollars to get it from Amazon. Um, the other two places are cheaper, but I believe you have to spend... If you spend a little more money, you get the free shipping. I just didn't want to do that. So, but again, um, I'll put some links, um, some of the spots I've seen them. Again, there's three different places. Um, Big Bad Toy, um, Entertainment Earth, and uh, Amazon's where I got him. I'll take a quick peek at this box. Um, also, just to kind of give you an idea on size of this box, it's pretty big. I was not expecting it to be so large. But here is a... Uh, McFarlane figure box, just to give you an idea. I mean, this thing is probably, I don't know, probably eight inches by eight inches. I'll pull out a tape measure if it makes you guys feel better. Actually, I won't, but just to give you an idea. It's pretty big for, I mean, I'm expecting them to be a smaller figure, about four inches of what they're supposed to be. So, but front, pretty plain, straightforward, like it. Side, nothing too exciting here. Just some, uh, don't steal our stuff. Back, it's kind of nice. Um, nice, uh, kind of shows you everything that you're going to see or get in the, the package. This is what you would see when you're, um, at least when I found it on Amazon, what it was showing you what the screenshots of the um, the figure and the accessories that come with it. And some more, uh, there's a barcode on there if you're looking for the barcode. Just Warhammer 40,000, Warhammer 40,000. And there we are. So I'm going to cut this thing open and I will um, show you that process in just a moment. So I've removed the plastic and let's uh, pop this box open together and see what it looks like inside. Whoa. Here we are, let's try to get out of this glare a little bit here. All right, so looking at this, we do have obviously our figure there himself. Got our nice little chain sword. Got some, uh, some pistol action there, with one with the holster, one without a holster. Or in a holster versus in a, without a holster. Good old bolt gun, some big uh, backpack. It looks like some different hands. All right, let's see here. Whoa! All right, well, so much for looking pretty. Let's throw all the stuff back. Came from here. All right, let's see. All right, that was uh, relatively painless. Some of the other figures I've bought. You get a lot of uh, wrestling to get these things out. All right, well, there we are. Let me uh, readjust my camera and we'll uh, take a look at this guy. All right, so looking at him now, um, pretty detailed for how small he is. He's actually, I would say, probably more detailed or about as, I don't know, it's hard to say. He's probably, I would say he's more detailed than the McFarlane figures. The paint definitely seems to pop quite a bit more. Um, some of the details do stand out a little better, um, but I'm recognizing a lot of the same little accents and details you'd see on the McFarlands. But uh, so, just taking a quick peek at what he looks like here, get a little close up for you. Again, pretty good. There's his back before I put his backpack on. And while he's uh, right here, let's take a look at some articulation. So he does have some pretty good um, 
ankle pivot. He can rock his ankle all the way around. It's nice. It's going to be good for standing, posing, moving around a little bit here. Um, does have some great uh, articulation here. He could put his leg all the way back. Uh, the knee kind of falls apart a little bit on him. Looks kind of not the best, but still, the fact you can bend it that well is pretty good. His so leg does uh, kick out. Does uh, swing, again, swing back a little bit here. Could kind of sort of do the splits, but not that that much. Um, does have a little pivot here in the, um, the waist. Looks like two. He's got down here at the right above the belt. Then he's also got a little bit of a stomach second ball joint up here, a little stomach rocker. So he's got some pretty good articulation here. Um, arms, let's see here. Shoulder is seems to be pretty limited. Can't, and that doesn't look the best, but it's not terrible. Again, smaller figure. Um, elbow is pretty good here. It's like a double joint in there. Same thing, double joint in the knees. Whoa, his leg fell off. Okay. Oh, so there you go. So there's another <laughs> pivot point. <laughs> well, let's see if that comes back on. All right. Well, it sort of does. It's uh, not very tight. That's going to be interesting. The leg's going to be falling off left and right. Okay, again, I'm not used to these figures. I, it's my first time handling them, so I'm not sure what these are really they hold up to. Um, shoulders, uh, the shoulder pads are kind of disconnected from the arm, similar to, again, the McFarlane ones, so you can get a little bit more, a little bit more movement on the arm, but not a lot. And again, you can use that to uh, you know, pose a little bit more. The head, left and right, not really, I mean, a little bit down, well, not too bad, looks down. Doesn't look up at all. But these guys are not meant to be uh, very flexible, so I'm not super worried about that. Alright, let's start popping some of these things on him, see how that goes. Let's start with this backpack. So, backpack looks like pff, a couple pegs. Tell you what, if this leg does not stay on, I spent close to 50 bucks on this. It's gonna be obnoxious, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm going to be a little bitter about that. Might be one of the last one of these joy toys I buy. We'll see. Man, so tell me you guys in the comments if anybody else picked any of these up and has the same issues. Because that's that leg's barely on there. Uh, that's annoying. Some of the other reviews I watched didn't have that same issue. It hasn't had any issues like that. So it's going to be frustrating. Spend 50 bucks, well, $40, $39 retail, whatever it is. We want it to be a little better quality than that. Let's see here. I love the bolter. Um, something I do miss with the uh, McFarlane's is they don't make this uh, the bolter painted with any of their figures. It's always the um, artist proofs. So it's cool to see one, especially big like this. So, yeah, you can uh, hold his bolter up. Rid of that though, let's see. I want to put the uh, see, sword, oh, not the right hand for that. Let's see if you can hold his little pistol here. Cool, let's we'll see. I'm gonna pop off his little hand here, see if I can swap out. Oh, it does pop off. All right, so hands do pop off. Not too hard, just a little ball joint there. A little more pulling than I would like. It makes me nervous, <laughs> especially with that leg. I'll pull this off and it's never gonna go back on. All right, let's see if I can get this other hand on here. Holy cow. All right, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to cram this on on video because that hole seems significantly smaller and that hole, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have to scrape that out with a knife or warm it up a lot with some hot water, but uh, again, 50 bucks, so i got to be double-checked. I get a kind of a janky uh, 
janky figure for 50 bucks. Again, a lot of detail, a lot of cool stuff, but uh, you'd hope uh, quality control would be a little bit better. Well, maybe it's just me, because that seems pretty tight on both. Alright. Wish me luck. Well, I'm going to have to come back and do that later on. I'm going to pause this real quick and see if I can figure out how to get this hand on there. And I'll let you know what I ended up doing to get it on there. Be right with you. Okay, so we're back. So what I ended up having to do to get that hand on there, that particular hand, um, looks like I'd probably have to do the same for this one. This is not the one that came with, um, it wasn't on it when I got it. Um, I had to take a razor blade and scrape a little bit of that out, hollow it out a little bit, and then I soaked the hand in hot water about as hot as I could get out of the spigot uh, for about three or four minutes. And it loosened up enough for um, <laughs> me to get it on there. I was afraid I was going to break something because I was trying to cram it on there just <laughs> just dry and <laughs> nothing. So after loosening it up a little bit, and, uh, some warm water popped in there. But okay, so back to looking at this guy. Detail-wise, again, a lot, lot more detail on some of the pieces here. Um, it's kind of, I'm not sure what I was expecting, like if he was, I was expecting him to be more like a metal type feel, um, but he seems almost like hollow, pretty light. I mean, I could, it just could be my imagination, but it just feels a lot um, lighter than it should be. I don't know. It's different. It's not, it, it doesn't feel hollow, but it just, it just seems light. <laughs> um, definitely kind of some cool stuff. Uh, looks like I could, I could pop this off if I wanted to. And um, replace it. They got the little ball joints in there, um, and that's really the only that. And then you have the choice of the bolter or um, the, the chainsaw and the pistol. Um, kind of wish there was some way to hold the chainsaw if you weren't using it. Kind of cool if you had like a loop or something, we could set it to him in his belt. Um, but. It's okay, it's really tiny, I can't get too too crazy with that. But just kind of stand him up here. So this gentleman is an ultramarine. For those of you that don't know a lot about Warhammer, um, ultramarines were one of the founding chapters. Um, the emperor, the, the god king guy that started all the, the major push into the galaxy for all the huma humans. Uh, created 20 sons. Each of those sons were kind of like his generals. They were superhuman. Um, these guys are supposed to be seven to eight feet tall um, after all their modifications. Um, the Primarchs were even taller. They were like 10, 10 feet tall, something like that. Probably close to a thousand pounds, just nothing. But their Primarch, and they're called Primarchs, uh, his Primark is called Rub Rubo Rubut Gilliman, I believe. It's Rubut, Rubute. Um, and he was known as being like, not necessarily, they, I mean, all the Primarchs had their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, Rubute was always known as being like a great um, politician and kind of a leader in a way. Like he was great at... Um, economy and putting together worlds um, to basically create giant armies very fast, very efficiently. Um, the Ultramarines, again, that's what he is. He's an Ultramarine, and he is a intercessor ult Ultramarine, so he's the next generation, meaning he's slightly bigger and badder than the, um, the classics. Um, let's see here. I'll get this thing to stop. So, but um, once upon a time, there were um, legions. So again, at the original, there was 20 different Primarchs. So there was 20 legions. Each, each Primarch had, um, I, don't, I don't know, it, ballpark. It was just anywhere from like 20,000 to 200,000 of these guys that they would send all over the galaxy. And we'd, they'd lead them out to reconquer the galaxy. They were killing all the, um, the Xenos, the aliens, and... Um, bringing any um, rebel uh, humans back into line. 
uh, but again, these this army, the Ultramarines, was one of the original. I think they were the 13th Legion, and again, a legion just meaning there's quite a bit. I think they or they had like close to 200,000, quite a few, one of the bigger ones out there. Um, eventually, there was a civil war. I've talked about that in some of my other videos. Um, about half of the Primarchs went one direction, the other half went the other. And um, these guys stayed loyal and were eventually, um, after the, the Civil War was over, kind of both sides, I mean, neither side could really claim real victory. Um, that damn leg. <laughs> oh, look at that, he's got some toe articulation too. Assuming his leg stays on. <clears throat> So these guys stayed loyal um, to the Imperium, the traitors that didn't get killed, and again, all the both sides took heavy losses. Um, but the, the loyalist, um, sorry, the, the, I'm sick. My brain's not quite working. So these guys stayed loyal, and then there's the traitors that went off and did their own thing. Um, but they're still loose out in the galaxy, and they're constantly going at it, fighting each other. Um, but now, since um, after the Civil War, everyone decided it was not safe to have so many um, men in one army. So, like, the legions, where there was hundreds of thousands of these guys, one of these guys are supposed to be able to take out a close to 100 regular soldiers. So, just to give you an idea. So, they're saying these guys are, like, super soldiers, stronger than Master Chief. Well, as strong as Master Chief. We'll see. I don't know. But... They broke them down into, instead of legions, they had chapters, which a chapter was supposed to be no bigger than a thousand of these guys. So they still exist, but now instead of being ten, tens of thousands, there is approximately a thousand that are in this exact um, print and size. Um, and that might not be 100% true. I don't follow the lore exactly, but that was the, um, the rule set. So that is my uh, impression, I mean, quick conversation about what these things are. Um... Nifty looking toy. I think he's really cool. Um, this is one of those things where I feel like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna try to do some stop motion with him, but <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get frustrated real quick if he's falling apart on me. His legs are falling off. Um, I'm kind of used to again the uh, McFarlane version, which kind of kind of get a feeling for size wise. They are meant to be. These guys are meant to be handled and really played around with a little bit. They hold up. This one, I feel like you're going to want to pose it, and you're not going to want to mess with it too much. I feel like you move him a lot. He's going to... Um, his legs are going to start falling off. Pieces are not going to hold together very well. But just to kind of give you an idea, there's a reason I picked this one out. He's the, the closest I could find to matching this guy. So I might trying to uh, sneak some of this guy into my stop motion incorporating, I mean again, so I could use him for next to bigger uh, enemies or whatever and just kind of play games with the, um, how they go, I don't know, they're close enough though, they look pretty similar. And then also, I just happened to pull this guy out. He is um, one of the original, I don't know, I think, whatever the third what the hell they call it? Whatever the third book, um, war uh, war book, rule book. Um, so he was um, one of the original, well, not the original, really stumpy little ones, but but uh, just kind of give you an idea size wise. <clears throat> so there you go. Again, Joy Toy Ultramarine, very expensive. I don't know that I'm gonna do another one, especially if this one's legs are falling off and I'm having issues with his hands already for again 40 50 bucks I love these guys McFarlane please make more <laughs> 20 bucks for one of these compared to 40 bucks for one of these it's cool the accessories the detail is there but uh, I just like my big chunky slightly more plain for 20 bucks take this every time hey guys just a quick update so, I ended up returning the figure I reviewed initially, um, and I got this one in the mail. Um, this one is substantially better. A um, couple things. First one, I'll show some video, or I'll throw a picture up here. 
The um, backpack on this one is quite a bit more even. Not perfect, but I can live with this one. I'll send. I'll put a screenshot up of the other one. I'll do a side of Let's see right here. You can kind of see the difference where this one is like, okay, that's manageable, it's tolerable. It's not perfect. You see one's a little bit cockeyed compared to the other. The other one was terrible. Uh, this one's leg does not um, fall off like the other one. And um, an update after... Uh, I got so involved with the stop motion on this guy, it's literally taken me an extra couple weeks to post this video. Um, this guy's uh, awesome to work with, with the stop motion. I was thinking that he'd be like a stand and pose and that's it. But um, this guy is great. He can do a lot more... Um, because I, I mentioned he's a little bit lighter, um, he can do a little more goofy stances and stuff that the... McFarlane figures can do, it's just a lot harder to do. I might have to get little supports and then blur out. Um, this guy is pretty cool after playing around with them for the last week and a half, doing some stop motion stuff, and then getting the updated uh, version, the, the correct version without the damaged wonky pieces, the legs not falling off. Um, when I did the return, I swapped out the, um, the hand that I customized to make it more... So again, I'm sending them back a factory hand. So I swapped out, so I got the, the this one back. I swapped out the hand I got with this one with the old, so you guys don't think, like, oh, I'm screwing up their factory stuff and sending it back. <clears throat> um, so this guy actually turned out to be really cool. And like I was kind of afraid of, um, he, this one turned out to be so cool and I had so much fun playing around with them that I did end up ordering another one. He's sitting in a box upstairs. So you'll see a review on him next, um, pretty soon. But I just wanted to be fair to this guy. That first one, for whatever reason, quality was not great. Um, this one, quite a bit better. Having a lot of fun with him. I'm excited to do some stop motion with him. His stop, this guy for stop motion is going to be great, to be honest. Like I, he again, he can hold a pose um, pretty well, and he can do some goofy stuff because he is a lighter weight. Um, I'm not doing any justice on this, but like, again, just if I was to try to do anything like that with the McFarlane's, they're so big and clunky and they're a little less, um, I don't know, maneuverable or flexible or whatever, um, articulate. <clears throat> um, again, he's pretty cool. He's fun. So I'm excited to open up this next one. You'll see a new review, um, on that other one as well. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing a short slap together stop motion for this guy just to get this review out. And then I have this other longer video that I've been working on that I didn't want to rush. Um, you'll see that probably another few days. But uh, <laughs> thanks for the patience. I know this has been a long gap between my last video and this. A couple things going on. Um, I won't get into all of it. Personal things. Nothing to do with you guys. No excuse. The Warhammer must keep going on um but um again thanks for being patient and thanks for watching and um give me um some love on uh <laughs> those likes subscribes watch some of the other videos and uh be prepared for some new ones coming out soon i will um be in touch <laughs> thanks again evil clown slayer out Thank <laughs> you.